Hello everyone. This is a series of our videos on programming examples of SIC. In today's session, we are going to learn few basic programs. The first one being evaluating an expression, evaluating an arithmetic expression to be very specific. So, what is the expression that we are going to evaluate today? I'll take a very simple example. Like, uh, I have to perform some addition subtraction on various variables and store the result in another variable. Okay, let us say I want to perform addition of alpha with a variable called as INCR, subtract some value out of it and the result I am going to store in a variable called as beta. What are these alpha, beta, INCR and 1 represent? I will assume alpha, INCR and beta are all word to store integer with value unknown and I will choose 1 as a constant value 1. So based on this, I have to uh, assign storage for all the variables first. And all, all storage allocation in SIC and SIC XC programs will be done to the end of the program. So what are the variables that we are going to use in our program now? It is alpha. What is it? It is a word integer with value not known. Not known means I have to reserve one word. Right? Then I will have a variable INCR which reserves one more word. I have one. It is a constant. How to define a constant? We have to make use of assembler directive one. We have to initialize the value as well. Right? Then what is beta? What is beta? Again, its value is not known. It is a variable. We are just reserving one word of memory where I can store the value later whenever I require through the program. So now, I have few memory locations now like alpha, INCR and 1 this value is initialized with 1 and I have one more memory location called as beta. So what do we have to perform according to the expression given? We just have to add these two values and we obtain some here and from which we have to subtract 1 we get some result here subtract 1. That result has to be stored in beta. This is all what we have to perform. So to start with, can I add two memory locations directly? Do I have any instruction that can perform addition of two memory elements? Not possible. That means I have to bring in the data from the memory location into register. I will get it into accumulator using load instruction. Load A with alpha. When I do this what happens? Accumulator will be loaded with contents of the memory location called as alpha. Then what I have to do? I have to add this memory location contents to the accumulator which I can do directly. One operand can be registered, another operand can reside in the memory. I just have to write add INCR. So now what happens? Default is accumulator. One operand by default is accumulator. Its content is added with the value present in the memory location INCR. Then what do we have to do? We have to subtract 1. Subtract 1 from the sum. Where is sum stored? It is present in the accumulator. So we have to subtract 1 from this. What is this operation? Accumulator contents will be subtracted from 1. Or I can write like this. Right? Now what I have to do? The result 
where it has to be stored it has to be stored in memory location beta so what should be the instruction accumulator contents should be stored back in beta what happens when i do this memory location pointed as beta will be loaded with the value contained in accumulator so this is the piece of code to evaluate an expression alpha plus incr minus 1 now let us see one more program which uh, performs array operation the objective here in this program is we will have a character string let us call that string name as str1 and this string is something like this hello world hello world this is stored in str1 I want to create a copy of str1 in another memory location. Let's say this memory location is named as str2. How this job is done? At a time I can load only one byte. That one byte has to be copied into destination array. Then advance the pointer to the next element copy it to the next position advance the pointer to the next element copy it to the next vacant position in str2 this is how we have to write the logic so i told you we will copy byte by byte byte by byte so now what is objective of the program let me write objective here we have to copy the string from one memory location to another memory location to another location right so what are the variables that we require for this program i require str1 it should be a constant already defined with or already populated with the data so it will be byte character string initialized as hello world so this is the syntax c here represents it as a character what follows should be treated as character bytes so when it is a character it has to be stored as you remember characters in um, SIC are stored as 8-bit ASCII. They are stored as 8-bit ASCII code. And we require one more variable, str2, where we are going to create a copy of this str1. So, what should be the size of str2? It should be of same size as that of str1. So, now this time we are not initializing instead we are just reserving reserving some memory where we can copy the string how many bytes are there in our source string just count it it is 11 bytes so i will reserve 11 bytes of memory for our destination string then uh, i told you this is an indexing operation we require byte by byte transfer means there will be some looping involved in this program so what i will do is i will define a variable using which i can initialize a register to point to the first element zero word zero and also i require a counter because i have to repeat the byte transfer so many number of times how many number of times it depends on number of elements present in an array how many number of elements are we having it is 11 that means i definitely know how many number of iterations i have to perform so 11 is going to be my counter initialized with value 11 it is a constant value so i have used word after doing this what should be the logic what should be the logic it is very simple i have to copy one byte from the memory to register from register to memory location memory to register is load register to memory is store 
So what should be the instruction now that I have to execute? Load str1. Is it sufficient? Where do I have to load? Um, I have to load to some register. If I say load A for example, what happens? Is it correct if I say load A str1, what happens then? How big is accumulator? Accumulator and all registers for that matter in SIC, they are all 24 bits. But how big is one character? One character is one byte. Accumulator is three bytes. How can you load one byte to three byte location? Not possible. So I cannot make use of LDA instruction. I cannot make use of LDA instruction. Instead, I require an instruction that will load only eight bits of my accumulator and that, and that to the rightmost eight bits of the accumulator. Remaining accumulator contents are unused. They are not altered. We have a special instruction to load character or to load only 8 bits. It is LDCH. Now you are not specifying A, X, L, anything here. Unlike this instructions LDA, LDL, LDX used to load A, L or X registers. Now I just say LDCH. By default, it will load the accumulator itself. What it will load? STR1, is it sufficient? From STR1, what I have to load? Whatever is there in the first position. Normally, array index will start with 0. So, what I will do is I will initialize an index register to 0 first. Then, I will say that whatever is there in X to that location, from str1 take the content and move it to the accumulators rightmost 8 bit from the accumulators rightmost 8 bit store the contents to another memory location called as str2 to the location pointed by x right now what happened first character has been successfully transferred what is the next operation that we need to do we need to advance the pointer to the next element right and also we are not supposed to uh, overlook the contents we are not supposed to go beyond the array limit we are not supposed to go beyond the array limit. So we need to increment the value of x and also we need to make sure the incremented value of x is less than 11. Right? To do both the operations, there is a single instruction available in SIC. The instruction is called as TIX. What TIX will do? It will increment the value of x by 1 and also it will perform the comparison with the specified variable and it will set condition code. I repeat, I repeat, this is very important instruction. What TIX will do is what TIX will do is it will perform two operation. First, TIX, TIX. First operation is it increments index register X by value 1. The second operation is it will perform comparison and also based on the comparison it sets condition code. So I will write an instruction here TIX 11. Then what happens? X is incremented initially it was 0. Now it is incremented by 1. 1 is compared with 11. Condition code can take upon a value, 3 values. What are 3 values? Less than, equal to or greater than. Right? If x value is less than 11, this is set. If x value is equal to 11, 
this is set. If x value is greater than 11, this is set. And based on the value of the condition code, we can perform conditional jump operation. If it is less than, I can make use of an instruction jump less than. If it is greater than, I can make use of an instruction jump equal to. If it is greater than, I will make use of an instruction jump greater than. So now, when do I have to go back and uh, load and store the next character? Whenever x value is less than 11. So what is the instruction that we need to choose now? Jump less than. We have to go back to this line. So I need a label so that I can reference this particular instruction. I will write jump less than to the label back. This label holds the instruction ldchstr1, x. Now x value is incremented and this loop is executed for 11 number of times. When x value becomes equal to 11, then this condition fails and that will be end of our program wherein we have successfully copied string 1 contents into string 2. Thank you.